Okay, so we have an unusual uh, job here. Uh, the repairs rather run of the mill, the plain vase. But what's unusual about this is that it's it's cracked all the way around the lower midsection and the upper shoulder here, all the way around, and some cracks radiating out from that. But the thing is, it's it's not a part. It has not come apart. The problem is, someone poured cement or plaster or something into the vase as a counterweight to make the bottom heavy to, uh, thinking that that would stabilize the vase and keep it from falling over. Well what happened is that fill shrunk and now it's not tight in there, it's loose and so the first time somebody laid this thing down or picked it up or whatever that thing slid and like a great big hammer slid back and forth in here and it made it crack so I have to get it out and the only way to do that is to break the vase so I'm in the unusual position of having a piece that I have to break it in order to fix it <laughs> so uh, so what, I don't know how this is gonna go so uh, what I want to try to do is break this bottom piece it's cracked all the way around but not quite all the way through so I'm going to try to continue this crack uh, ah there it goes I was pressing on that lens so here's the fill it's just gravel and somebody poured cement in it and now that's like a big old hammer inside there bashing the brains out of this poor old vase. It's a beautiful, nice celadon vase. So we got we got the bad guy out of there. So now we can continue with the repair. So again, I need to break the top part too in order to fix it. Someone stuffed this in here to keep the uh, that cement from further bashing this thing. So I want to break this top part too. I think. Let me look at it. No, I guess we can fix that without breaking it. Yeah. So we're going to that's what we're going to do. All right, so there it is. Uh, the first piece I had to actually break <laughs> in order to fix it. All right, so I'm going <coughs> to have my hick still mixed up and I'm going to put it on here and glue these two halves together I'm applying it right to the crack instead of the normal way of putting it on the outside of the crack because it's a thick walled base and I want to make sure I get good coverage.
tape on. Then it pull it. Stretch it tight. And then I'll put this in a hot box. So here's a shot of this vase assembled with the Milliput fill first round. And I'm gonna file this down today. Okay, now I got this all assembled. I've got uh, three rounds of milliput fills and smooths out. Now it's time to put some color on here. spots where I need to fill. This will dry darker. So often when we do this first uh, application of color, <clears throat> we'll find little nicks and tiny little voids that we couldn't see until we get some color on here. And they're real easy to miss. Um, so, uh, but they're tiny. <clears throat> and so, I'll, this is a big one here. <clears throat> But, uh, so we just need to do a little bit of fill on that and smooth it out, and then we can put some more paint on it, and we're good to go. 
and this light colored paint will darken as it dries so I'm not worried about the color matching uh, and I can finesse that a little bit on the next application I'll have to put more color on this the next time around after I address these fills okay so we had some little uh, places that need to be filled around this uh, and so I, I've done that it's the next day as you can see I've filled all these little things it's just a little, it's a little detail but it's gonna make a difference in the finished product so I'm gonna get some more uh, paint over that and blend this the new paint into the old uh, finish and See if we can make this look good. So we're getting ready for paint right now.